podcast time. Welcome back. Episode five. Six. Definitely six. Episode six. It's been a, that long since episode five. I know. I don't know if we we're quite as consistent as we should be. No, we are. We're very consistently inconsistent. <laughs> This is true. Um, welcome back to uh, Air Street Rec, or Air Street Recording Podcast. We're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring, <laughs> we're figuring it out. I think you'll notice above, we've figured out how to turn the Air Street logo into a white logo. And I've turned from facing a black wall to having the piano <laughs> behind me. I feel like the most professional person that I've ever encountered. So if anyone would like us to uh, run their podcasts... Uh, Technical support is available at the doomwells.com podcast. Technical support.com forward slash true story. <laughs> um, how are you doing? Good. I mean, it's weird. I feel like, right, I do love these podcasts here because we, we know we never get to speak like this, like on an actual, like, um. Like there's nothing else. Like there's nothing else to talk about other than just what we're talking about. Like, we've been so busy. Yeah. Again. I know. And I feel like we say that all the time, but we are really busy. Yeah. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that we need to start um, documenting it a little bit more. I need to get better at Instagram stories. You do. But I feel like we're so in the moment. We just forget. Like we went to Wakefield the other day and I was like, this place is bloody beautiful. Yeah, we went to Talyard North, for anyone who's not familiar. Talyard uh, originally is a like a songwriting heaven in London. Mm -hmm. We've worked there ourselves. I think No Gallagher has got a spot down there. Prodigy's got a, had a spot down there. Still does. Uh, all the big writers in Leeds, in Leeds, all the big writers in the UK, <laughs> Leeds on the brain. All the big writers in the UK all work there, and now they've opened up a Talyard North, which is in Wakefield, not far from us. So we went to go see that. Very beautiful. On Tuesday, which was great. Amazing experience, and there's tons of creatives down there, and it's just a, a, a stunning place to be. So so that was good, and I, I, like as I got on the train back from Wakefield, I was like, oh, I didn't take one picture. That's bad, that, isn't it? I think I might have taken a few, just didn't post them. Well, but we also since the last podcast we went down to London as well, didn't we? Went down to see the semi-final of Britain's Got Talent, and it was great. It was uh, honestly, it makes you realise just how slick the show is behind the scenes. It's so to say it was a live show. Yeah, so live, like so much could go wrong at any point. Um. I mean, I mean, they've definitely got manpower down there. They must have had about fifteen people just steaming the curtain. Yeah, you know. And then we think about what we do, just me and you. We don't even have a curtain. I don't, we have an iron here, though. So if we had curtain, we're one step closer. <laughs> um, I was more thinking about more important things that we were doing. Uh, but yeah, it was. Um, it was unbelievable. The 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 show uh, operated truly live. So when the adverts on TV are on, there's a compare that comes on and he riles the crowd up and everyone's singing and dancing and the judges uh, up for it putting a show on. Yeah, it's great. But they're having fun as well. And they like every time there's a break, they all like Simon Cowell came over and spoke to us and shook our hands and asked us how we're doing. Um, and he goes off and his his son was behind him and it was cool like it was like right in the thick of it all so yeah it was a good experience we took we took Claire and Haley for the sole purpose well two sole purposes one was to introduce um, Claire and Haley to Simon and Tom and everyone else on the psycho team uh, and the other one is is that uh, the Ant and Deck which I mentioned in the last podcast how much Claire and Haley just want to be mates and go f like be pub buddies uh, with Ant and Deck. Yeah. 
Um, so the first one came around, we, we they, they took us in and they sat us down and we were right at the front and we could like touch in distance from the stage. Um, and I think it was set that we were not, we were not going to get to, to meet Ant and Deck, were we? Well, they were busy. Yeah, it's like, I, but, and the thing is, I think they both understood and, and we understand it's like, you know, you know, when you're doing a show, you, that's your priority. Like, yeah. So yeah. Oh, someone's dinging away in there. Is that me? You? Your phone. It's my phone. Sorry about that, everybody. Just ignore the dings. I didn't put it on silent. Can you do that without? Uh, I don't want to touch anything. So no, no, we'll leave it. Uh, but the other one was is um, wanting the girls to meet Simon. So as I said, Simon came over in the break to come say hello to us. At the one single moment that Claire and Haley decided to go to the loo. Yeah. <laughs> so. But there's always next time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what else is new, Joe? Um, we've got new merchandise on our website. And a brand new single. And a brand new single called One Day at a Time, which technically comes out on Spotify on the 13th, 13th of June, but it is available on our website right now. And <clears throat> if you're part of our Patreon membership, you can listen to the entire EP there now, basically. So... Um, as a thank you yeah Patreon's cool I feel like um, we have been we've got the Zoom show coming up on the 15th as well I love the Zooms is anyone coming to the um, to the live show to the Zoom show we we have a handful of tickets for for live um, this video comes out early for Patreon and our Patreon are aware of what we do um, 20 odd tickets in the studio Uh but it also this video will go out later to the wider audience, uh, and we have just a limited amount of people in the room while we film the Zoom live, so it's really cool and it makes a real good party. I mean, there's only been one really messy one, and in all fairness, it was not the fans that, that made was, it messy. It was, but it was good fun. It was really good it fun. Was, it was our family. <laughs> it was Steve, <laughs> was our older brother, who um. <laughs> He was the most rock and roll that night. He's definitely far more rock and roll than me and you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's 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 to look forward to. Um, the patron. What else is there? The patron's great. Uh, like, would, I don't know. Even even if you don't want to tr sign up, I feel like you, you you should check it out. You know, there, there, there's a lot on there that's. This, I don't know, it's just a bit different, you know, there's, there's demos from old SoundClouds and there's reworked versions of old songs and there's reworked versions of songs that, that you've heard before and there's original demos and it's quite cool. Yeah, it's a bit weird because I think there's a version of this new single, as you said, doesn't come out until the 13th. Mm -hmm. There's a version of this song that we played to the Patron ages ago yeah. because we use Patron as a... Like, like a, a sounding, sounding board. board. Hey. A sounding board at the same time. Uh, as a sounding board to work out whether images are right, sounds right. Like, do, what, is it is the song good? Uh, there's so much. I mean, it's just a really useful uh, platform for us to use. Um, and then also, you get to hear the mistakes and the good bits and the new bits. And it's cool. Yeah. Um, what else is there? We've been busy in the studio. We have. We've had uh, quite a few people in the studio recently, writing um, and recording. We've just come back from. We've come back from Scotland. We've done a festival in Scotland at Pit Lockery. We did, and we've then we also did a, just done our own a, show in Glasgow. We also did that too, um, which was brilliant. Oh, some gigs that you do. It was, and you it all. Was, Food for the soul. That's right. For me. Absolutely. It was great. Like, it was just for anyone who came. Thank you so much. And I think there was a handful, quite a few people in the room as well that uh, came as guests to other people. So they'd never seen us before. And the atmosphere was brilliant. Yeah, it was electric. Everybody was really singing, dancing. It was silly. I felt like I went on stage. I felt like I was connected with the audience. And then we also had an incredible fiddle player and an incredible bassoon player yeah. stevie and fiona uh, and it's, it made it like a 
Celtic, like traditional Scottish vibe going on. Yeah. Which, we, like, me and Dave got so excited about it. We were like, how can we turn this into a recording of some sort? So, Patreon be expecting the demos for that as soon as possible. Well, that's on the, the agenda at some point, you know, to turn some of the old songs into, into like, folky, cool, upbeat versions of Dunwell songs. Yeah. Kind of like what we did with Lucy Revis in the cello. Yeah. So, yeah. Exciting. We're also, um, we've got this weekend off. Mm -hmm. We've got a family party. That should go on social media. We should put some pictures up. We're playing rounders. We've bought a new bat. Well, well, they've, say yeah. we've bought a new bat. Dad's Dad bought it. Yeah. So there's that. It's actually nice to watch them. The right, so we're recording this on the Friday the 7th? Yeah, Friday the 7th of June. Yeah. That's today. Um, it's nice to feel like we've got a full weekend off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, off completely. Mm -hmm. um, because then that's that's pretty much it until the end of the year, at least or, or back end of October, where we've got either either our Friday or our Friday and a Saturday, which we're working so and gigging. It's not work, but it's like away from the family. So yeah, it's nice to. It's nice to know that we've got this time. So, yeah. Anything else, Dave? Um, no, I mean, it's so weird because it felt so full on. And now we've, I've definitely got Friday feels. I've definitely. I mean, that the way I said that did not sound excited at all about <laughs> Friday, but I genuinely am really excited about the fact that it's Friday. Yeah, uh, me too. And a whole weekend off. So I feel like everything that we've got going and all this flood of, of uh, multiple mixes that we're sending out to different artists and people were booking in uh, new shows that have been and uh, are soon to be announced oh, yeah. for the October dates. Yeah. Uh, and we're just settling them and making sure that they're doing. Uh, we, we've, uh, as I said, we've been to Tile Yard. We're looking at other studios and other places where we can you know spread our wings even further uh and 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 meet with with other musicians that are making records the way we're making them and, uh, and we've, it's like so every day there's like a meeting there's something going on yeah definitely uh, and so all of that flood of stuff and now we've hit the weekend and now it's just everything that we've got going has just disappeared yeah <laughs> i'm in holiday mode Sweet. for a weekend no but um I am very appreciative of everyone who has uh, stuck with us this long into this 13, currently 13 minute and five second podcast. Yep. Which by the time Joe Motormouth over there stops babbling on, you know, we might get this under 15 minutes. Um, for anyone who has ordered a, a, a brand new hoodie from our website, those have been sent out. They got sent out on Wednesday, I think. Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember. Uh, so you should have them. Please send us a picture on Instagram or Facebook, tagging us in, and then we can reshare that. That'd be amazing. Could we share behind the scenes um, dilemmas, um, first world problems, all that sort of jazz. When you order tea towels, oh yeah, uh, you've got a small, a small box of fifty tea towels. When you order hoodies, you need to uh, hire in a removals company to actually move this giant boxes multiple giant boxes well, we had three three giant boxes of hoodies and there was only 50 hoodies in there so yeah but um but they look good though don't they and they're all organized now we've got a new member of t we've got a new member of a team a new member of the team dave yeah which you'll probably you'll oh someone's calling you Dave. just press that button just stop it that'll be simon it's not <laughs> <It'd be> Claire. <laughs> yeah, it's Claire. <laughs> It's only you and Claire that call me. Yeah. In fact, I don't even know if Mum calls me that much. Oh, she no. calls. She calls me all the time. Oh, does, does she? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she calls me all the time. <laughs> um, yeah. So we've got a new member of the team, uh, a girl called Millie, who is going to be working with us for for throughout twenty twenty four and right into twenty twenty five. So that's really cool. Yeah. Already massive. Making a massive helping. difference to to us. Um, 
So you'll you'll probably see and hear a lot of her yeah. soon. She's she's also a really good artist as well. Yeah. So yeah. Anything else? No. I and mean, we've gone over fifteen. I mean, not that there's any rules we can do it on. It's our podcast. It is. But I uh, once again, I love doing it. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you did tune in. <laughs> and we will see you. We'll try and get one in next week. No, try, Joe. We're doing it. We'll get one in next week. Episode seven. And this one was six. Well, I can count. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on stage with you for a long time. I want to. I want to. 67, 12. <clears throat> Right, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great weekend, and we will speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.